I always love being here. It's my home. I was born and raised on music right here in this building. 1973. A lot of heart. A lot of heart and soul. Pull your heart out, pull your soul out, put it on a piece of paper and mail it in. Write the actual writing of the song. I love writing songs. After that, it kind of gets out of my hand. It's out of my control. Unless I call George and beg him to cut something. But yeah, I love writing songs. I stay booked up pretty good. I write Monday through Thursday when I'm in town and when I ain't in town, then I just do whenever I feel like it, whenever. It's a lot more easier to get inspired when you're not in a box, you know, but I mean, that's the way Nashville is. We go in a box and pull out guitars. And I had a pretty good writing experience the other day. We started from absolutely nothing. No melody, no idea, no nothing. And came up with a great song. And to me, that's the challenge. You know, if I walk in there with a hook or a great melody, half the battle's won. But if I go in there with a clean slate and nothing, that's the challenge. Couldn't have picked a better guy. His body of work, his body of work and what he, the kind of man he is and the way he, you know, the way he is with his nonprofits. He's a giving guy, a giving guy and a very deserving guy. I wasn't a bit surprised, I'll say that, you know, when they said Vince Gill's this year's icon, it didn't surprise me at all. I thought, man, he should have been, you know, two years ago, three years ago. Man, I met Francis Preston at Opryland when I was like 19 years old. Her and Dale Bryant came to one of my shows. And they found out I wrote songs, and I knew who BMI was. And uh, I went and signed with them the next day, and I've been happily ever after.